Good morning. Here's a little gauge master. Turn out a solenoid and it seems to have got some kind of glue stuck in it. It won't work very easily. So I've decided to take it to pieces and uh, see how you get it apart, see how it works. See if I can clean it. I think you have to bend these little tags here. They would have bend pretty easily. I'll just do that. There are four of them. Not enough. A bit more. And the last one. That looks all right. Gauge master. Will it come off? Oh. Well, that's off. And I'll to the other side. Because I might as well have a look at this because I can't use it. Will that fit in there? Just. Mm. Three. Four. There's going to be some wires on the back of there, aren't there? Yeah, there are some wires in that. So if I try to take that off. Hmm. Right, you're right. So let's have a bash at some desoldering. This can do it. Mm. So you want to. Two hours later. I can see the wires. Must be a bit of fun getting those out of there. It's going to be good. Right, screwdriver. Oh, got him. How I'm going to get this back in here. Together, I do not know. I don't want to bust any of these wires. Oops. Well, something's obviously come. Yep. There we have it. There's one. And there's two. I better have these in the right way round. And remember which way they went so that the polarities of the bobbins go the correct oh look at the state of that how the hell did that get in there what did i do what did i do and better question still when did i do it oh well right so back again, <clears throat> I managed to get most of that off, or pretty well all of it off, with some very fine emery paper. See if it slides in here. Yeah, it slides now quite nicely in that one. They didn't go in there. They dare not go in there. It's going to make a big mess. Right. Yeah it does. Oh. That's very clever. Oh. These have got the extension rods on so it doesn't really matter which way they go. Happen 
images that way. So that's that way. Now would it help to put the gauge master side on first to hold it all in place while I, yeah it would wouldn't it. So gauge master goes in there like that. I can actually put them on yeah, that'll hold it still a bit. I can't remember which way these things were twisted. If you do it too many times because they break. No, it has to be a bit more than that. And that one will have to be the other way. And that one will want to be towards it. Is that enough? And this one will be outboard. Yep. Maybe. More. I think. There's a reasonable about. So that holds it all together. Yes, well, how the flipping am I going to get those things out? Get the faithful there. Uh, It's got to be. Straight without breaking, I don't think it's. I'm just pulling them up so they're straight as I can possibly get them. And. You do do! Well, no, no, come on! You know, you want to. How the hell am I going to line those up? I do not know. If I push on the inside. They are a little bit higher than the... Now that went that way. And does it look as though that Gonna go in there or not? I'll just oh, hang on. Get that out of the way for a start. <laughs> right. I do not know how I'm going to do this. I can see in there pretty well. I've actually got Christmas. I've actually got three of the four into the holes. The first shot, this one that's not in there. I don't believe that. How could you be so lucky? Three out of four. That is incredible. <laughs> well, um, three out of four. I'm going to. Do, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to put the, just put two of them in position and try and outboard. All right, that's holding it all together. This is now floating on quite nicely. I'm going to solder those. I have to go and get a smaller soldering iron. This is quite a nice little toy. Got the dread internet. I have to put this here, as like so I'm doing. It heats up very fast, it's dirt cheap, and it solders fairly quickly. Now I get this down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Then again, I've got to be able to see it. I'll 
push the water back down the hole. We're using very small bits of solder. Ah, that's two of them. Now that one's in there. That's too small. That one. Shh, I can only just touch it. Right, let's switch that off. Burn my fingers. Put that over there. Um, right, and I need something to tease that thing further up into that hole. Now a big problem is of course we have got one that isn't in there and this one is not quite it, it, it's very close though. Ah it's there I've got it. <gasps> Don't drop the thing on the floor. <laughs> Do not drop that on the floor, get some more silver. Where's my thing? There we are. Bing! Switch on. I've got another one of these which has a, a motion sensor on it and it's constantly switching itself on and off and then it's jamming on and so I like to use this one. It's got a perfectly ordinary switch. That's three of them, switch off now, the, now, for the, now for the fun time, put that down. What we need to do is go find a way of getting that one just into that hole up there. I can see it. It's, it's well long enough. Right, I'm back with this. I've got a pin. Manky old thing, and I've cut the point off it and bleed a tiny little thing there. And I can get it in the back here and push the wire towards the front there with the magnifying glass, of course, lighting up. I do it, and I can hold that there. It's springy, so it keeps springing but downwards a bit. So I'll hold that up like that, and just with my nail. Yeah, bend that over and we're in business. So let's have the soldering iron back on and keep that pin. I don't know where I got those pins from. I found them in a box. <laughs> I don't do dressmaking or anything um, <laughs> yet. I do everything else pretty well. But uh, this will get hot and hold that there. Sold the last one on. Well, that is amazing. I managed to do that. Oh, it's nice, good to know. That you can do it if you want to in it now. Goes in and out quite easily. Nice. So one gauge masker, seep style thing, suitably repaired. You can still see the the glue on there. Which is uh, okay. It must have gone in from the ballasting or something, I suppose. But then I don't, I don't use this kind of glue. I use PVA, and that's not PVA. 
Still, never mind, it worketh. And therefore we saved some money. Good. End of.